Hey guys, Rolando from Red Moto. So today we're gonna to be working on this touch up on this 2021 Honda Pilot. It's gonna be a pearl white color. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on push notification. And also, if you guys need any prepaint auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your prepaint auto body parts source. So let me go ahead and show you guys how our touch up bottles are supposed to be applied, especially on this uh, tri coat color. It's a little bit more difficult because you have to use a base, which is gonna be the flat, non-metallic or non-pearl color. And then you're gonna go on top of it with the pearl color. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that right now. All right guys, so as you guys can see like that door ding right there, it's not down to the bare metal. Uh, that, it's like grayish color. If it was down to the bare metal, you'll see like a brighter silver, silver tint look to it. But basically that one right there is called the E-Coat from the manufacturer. So that's just like the baseline of where the paint is supposed to attract to the body of the panel. So right there, right there, it's not bare metal yet. So the first thing you're gonna do is clean off the area. Soap and water or put your car through a car wash. That's the best way to do this. You always wanna have a clean surface because if you have a dirty surface, What's gonna do? What's gonna happen is that the paint won't attract to it. So you're basically doing a paint repair job, and the paint won't even stick to it long term. So we'll go ahead and clean it off. So this is just like our soap and water in a bottle. And then dry it off. So on our kits, this is one of the variations of our kits, but basically it's a premium kit. It's gonna come with two of these brushes right here. We got your brush cleaner, sealer. As you guys can see, this is a pearl color. So it's gonna have layer one. This one's gonna be the NH883P. Layer two, which is gonna be the pearl layer. And then you have the high gloss uh, clear coat right there. All right, if you guys need this kit, the link is up above, or you can go to redmoto.com, your prepainted and touch a bottle source. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So on this one right here, guys, I'm gonna show you what the paint actually looks like on the first layer. So the first layer of paint right there is gonna be without pearls. As you guys can see, it's non-metallic, non-pearl. It's just like a flat white color. So it's gonna be layer one. So this is the actual mixture that we, we made up for that customer and we put in those bottles. So what you're gonna do, just like how you're gonna utilize those bottles, is just put a little bit of paint on your brush, like, like that. Just put a little bit of it. And all you're doing is a dabbing motion. So it's a dab. And the great part about these touch up paint brushes right here, you can actually manipulate the, the head. So you can get a little bit more finer or wider as you want. So I need to get to be a little bit more finer. See? Okay. So let that sit for like five, five, 10 minutes, depending on the temperature. So it's gonna be one layer of that Layer one, basically non-pearl color. So again, just dab on the second layer. And you guys can see right there, it's almost going away, but you still have that e-coat or the primer that went through the paint. So you're gonna see that little bit come out on the white. So you're gonna have to add more layers. So that's gonna be the second layer. This can be third layer of that uh, layer one of the regular base coat.
take your time and I think I'll add another layer so just apply as much as you need until you guys get, get that even coverage So go ahead and clean off this brush right here with the brush cleaner. All right, once you guys have that brush cleaned up, you know, just dry it up with a, a blue towel or something that's lint free. There you go. And here's gonna be layer two of that pearl. See right there, there's all those pearls that's inside this paint right here. So it's gonna be the second layer that you're gonna be adding on. Let's go ahead and do that same thing that you guys did before, just go ahead and dab it in there. Well, for sure, you gotta have to mix it up, you know, shake it, shake up that bottle. So read the instructions on the bottle. So we go ahead and dab it in there. And the pearl is actually what makes it look a little bit more yellow. So the more you add on there, the more yellow it looks. All right, it's gonna be a second layer of this pearl. Again, just dab, okay? Don't don't try to uh, brush it on there. So just go ahead and dab. It's gonna be a third layer. You guys can see it's all already going away. All right, as you guys can see right there, that paint looks beautiful with that little touch up that we just did. I'm standing up probably a feet away or maybe even less than a feet away from the actual body panel that we touched up but if you guys get closer you're gonna be able to see the touch up just because i mean it's just a touch up right all we're trying to do is cover that uh that imperfection and the reason why we're covering that imperfection also is because whenever you guys leave it like that exposed to the elements it's gonna start rusting and once it starts rusting that's when you have a huge problem in your hands where you have to repaint the whole door or even get replaced a brand new door depending on how bad that rust is but there you go guys all right guys so on this video right here we just applied the base coat and well actually the one layer of base coat and the second layer of uh, pearl on this tri coat paint job which is going to be the uh white pearl on this honda pilot we didn't utilize the sealer or the clear coat just because uh this one right here is going to be your basic tutorial on utilizing our, our touch up bottles Look for more great videos on the link down below for other touch-up bottles that we have that utilize the sealer, base coat, and clear coat. Thank you guys for watching.